Hey, three and suck date! October 27, 2013 on a Sunday, the New England Patriots turn it around in the second half after a rough first half. After a tough 30 27 loss to the New York Jets down in the Meadowlands last week, the New England Patriots square off against the Miami Dolphins at the Razor AK Gillette Stadium this afternoon at Foxborough. And the Miami Dolphins get off to a good start. Brandon Gibson, a four yard pass from Ryan Tannehill, and Sturgis's kick is good. Seven to nothing in favor of the Dolphins. At 637 and at 9.58, Daniel Thomas, a five yard pass in the second quarter from Ryan. Tannehill and Caleb Surges' kick is good. It was 14 0 in the favor of the Dolphins. And then Steven Goskowski, 34 yard field goal is good at 347. New England Patriots cut in the Miami Dolphins lead to 14 3. And then Caleb Surges, a 52 yard field goal is good at 35 seconds of the second quarter. Dolphins going to halftime break. Lean in the Patriots 17 3. And Caleb Surges' 40 yard field goal hit the right up right. It's no good. And that Led the Patriots to a charge as Aaron Dobson in the third quarter. 14 yard pass from Tom Brady. Guskowski's kick is good. 17 to 10 in the favor of the Dolphins. And then, a, few, a minute later, the New England Patriots forced the fumble. And that led to a Brendan Bolden two yard run. And Steven Guskowski's kick is good. Game tied at 17 to 17 apiece. And then, Steven Guskowski, 48 yard field goal is good. 20 to 17 in favor of the Patriots. And then, Steven Ridley, a three-yard run, and Steven Guskowski's kick is good as the New England Patriots improved a six and two on the season with a 27-17 victory over the Miami Dolphins to improve the six and two on the season. Tom Brady, after going six and eight, 25, improves his game record to 13 and 22 with 116 yards and one touchdown, one interception. Here, next. Next up for the New England Patriots will be the Pittsburgh Steelers coming to town. Next week for a game at the Razor between the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Should be a good game next week. Okay, let us take a look at our other scores around the league. With two minutes left in Detroit, Dallas Cowboys lead in the Detroit Lions 27-24. That game's being played in the fourth quarter. Kansas City over Cleveland 23 to 17. That game is being played in the fourth quarter. As as Kansas City this this just in the the game is final. The Kansas City Chiefs defeat. The Cleveland Browns 23 to 17 to go to 8 and 0 oh on the season here. For the first time since 2003. New Orleans enjoying a 35 17 lead over the Buffalo Bills. The scores that are final, New York Giants over the Philadelphia Eagles 15-7 and the San Francisco 49ers in London thump the Jacksonville Jaguars 42-10 as the Jacksonville Jaguars are on 8 on the season here. And two games that are underway, the 4-5 games, the Jets and the Bengals, deadlock to zero pace and same goes the Steelers and the Raiders. Okay. Okay, New England goes to six and two on the season. Miami Dolphins will go to three and four. AFC North, Cleveland losing. They are now three and five. And if Cincinnati wins against the Jets, then the Bengals will have a two to three game lead over the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC North. AFC South. Colts serve a 5 2 record. AFC West, another win for the Kansas City Chiefs. They are 8 and 0 on the season. NFC East. Dallas, if they could hold on to the win against Detroit, they'll be 5 and 3. They'll have a two game lead over the Federal Eagles for first place in NFC East. And NFC North. If Detroit loses and then Green Bay wins, 
They'll have a one game lead over the Chicago Bears for first place in the NFC North. NFC South. New Orleans on their way to a 6-1 and one record. And NFC West, San Francisco winning. So now, if Seattle wins, they'll have one game lead over San Francisco for first place in NFC West. If they lose, then Seattle and San Francisco will be tied for first place in NFC West. Hey! 